Hey, on this video, I'm going to show you probably one of the coolest free services you can use uh, to design your graphics, basically your images, um, uh, pictures, uh, you know, ebook covers, uh, social media post images, YouTube post images, and it's through a free service called Canva.com, C-A-N-V-A.com, Canva.com, and I just want to briefly walk you through it because I've used it for quite a few years now. Uh, ever since it came out and I this is really the only editing software I use because I like to be able to do it real quick and uh, I'll show you just a couple of the, the fit my favorites on here okay so first off you go to canva.com to log in or I'm sorry to set up an account if you haven't got one you sign up with an email I'm already logged in so I uh, or I'm already signed up so I can click on here and log in now if it's your first time here all this down here will be blank uh, obviously but um, what it what's nice too is once you make a design it automatically saves it for you and you can see I have a ton uh, of them down here I've used them from every kind of business that I've been in whether it's my personal stuff my uh, companies that I market for um, you know I, I do stuff for coaching uh, blogs things like that okay so anyhow that's uh, that's kind of a cool feature that you can save it so you if you know that you make this you like the size and the look of one type of post that you've currently made or one minute I'm sorry one image that you use as a post you can save it and then uh, what you could do is you could replicate it in fact let me show you this one when I use this is one I use for video image you can just click here here and make a copy of it okay or I can delete it altogether but anyhow let's get back to this once you get here and it's your first time here it's going to say give you a, a create a design and this is where it's and I'll show you how simple this is we're going to do two things I'm going to show you first first I'm going to show you because if you haven't done it already is uh, this is where you would make an image for your Facebook cover your, your the big one for your for personal profile or for your um, fan page itself the other thing I'm going to show you that, that you can make posts as well and this is where I make all my images that I use and design for all of my Facebook advertising okay so this is this is it okay so first off we're going to make the header now what happens is it'll give you popular design types but if you scroll down you'll see it's it gives you an area for social media posts documents blogs and ebooks marketing materials social and email headers and I stop right there okay because this is what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the headers you'll look there's an event cover thumbnail for YouTube and so on but right here's what we're gonna look for we're gonna do the Facebook cover once you click on that it's gonna open a new window that's gonna allow you to kind of work on the canvas so this is uh, this is where we start now over to the left hand side here you're gonna see that there are a handful of pre-made templates and you'll notice the word free in the corner of every one of them if at any time you're not from uh, you go through on any of the times that you're any anywhere in here of all these if it's not a free one there's a ton here it will just say uh, paid or whatever and you can fix it from there so let's say I was scrolling through here and what happens is I might like this one and go eh, that might be cool but I, that's probably too busy for me but I'm gonna stick to, I'm gonna do this one all right cool so what I've done here is I've, I've then just transferred to the, the, the canvas here and now is where you can actually work on it so maybe you like a different po uh, different phrase here you can just retype it you just basically click on it and it's gonna highlight it and then I can you know delete that and say uh, welcome actually I'm gonna make this capital welcome to Mike Healy's page thanks for stopping Obviously, you wouldn't put this because that's kind of dorky. Um, but uh, anyhow, you would put uh, put something there. Now, if you don't like the white, what you do to change the, uh, the the font color is next to up here. You can see there's different things you can do. You would click this little eye thing right there, and it'll give you some default ones. Or if you want to get fancy, you can click on that. The color wheel will come up, and you can just kind of. Uh, drag and drop where you would like it and it'll it'll change the color even if you pull it you'll see that it kind of moves around and changes and then you click away from it and then there you go okay anytime you have something on here you can either uh, highlight it or delete it the other thing too is if you wanted to add some more graphics okay so I don't really like this I'm gonna delete that and I'm gonna make it so it's here you can move these things around you see how that X comes up you can drag that and what's nice is there's little things that will lock it in place when you're when you're uh, going left or right or even if you're going up or down you'll see that it'll give you that so you know you're kind of in the right spot so I want to leave that there let's say I want to add a picture to uh, my fan page a personal picture of myself 
what you do is you click on uploads upload your image you would click on that it would ID you know it would locate where your files would be this is what it looks like from Mac on mine and then maybe I'll scroll down and I'll find something that I've already uploaded um, we're gonna use one that's, that doesn't have a background a PNG one and there I am I could be I could move myself there you see these little stretch marks you can or dots you can make yourself bigger or smaller I'm gonna leave it like that and then let's say I want to add some more verbiage down here I'm gonna go to text it gives me some options here or even some kinds with some images so let's say let's say I just want to do this one okay and you notice that's kind of big what I could do is I'm gonna drag that over here I'm gonna shrink it I'm gonna change what that says howdy I don't like the I don't like the brown so I'm gonna use uh, let's use pink or whatever that is fuchsia or whatever color uh, this doesn't fit correctly so I shrink it a little bit pull it up and I'm good and boom right there you can make a you can make a cover as quick as quickly or as as you want you can work around it let's say I like this but maybe I would like to um, uh, change it up a little bit you can click on this right here that's actually going to duplicate that page so maybe I want to just delete my photo out of there and I want to add a different photo something a little cooler or somebody you know that's a uh, little cartoon guy that I uploaded before on something and maybe I like that one better okay so you can go in here and, and do all that uh, that's how you would make a cover then what happens is you go to the download click it here it's gonna usually leave it automatic if you only have one page it will that'll pop up you click download it'll save your designs and then it'll it'll directly download them to whatever uh, whatever you want and it'll leave those then in that uh, other area so you can go ahead and you're good to go and boom it just downloaded for me and now I have both of those images ready to roll and I can upload on those, those on my uh, page page now let me go back to one more thing I want to show you on here uh, this would be if you're gonna make some you know oh I'm sorry your ads I wanted to show you the ad thing on if you keep scrolling down here it's pretty much the bottom one currently as I'm making this video it says ads Facebook ad okay so I click on this because this is going to give you the perfect dimension to do, to do the letterbox size uh, image ad for that now you again you can have a completely blank canvas you can add one of those right there if you don't like it you can just delete it out uh, okay anytime you actually see this uh, background right here like this hold on a second sorry this right here you can actually leave that there and you can drag stuff onto it and it will automatically change that image okay so if I was doing an ad for a football player or just a post um, I do do some stuff for uh, uh, some coaches that I help and I'll make some of their posts there I can do uh, add some text to it so I could put this on here and say um, player of the year It's actually true. He, this kid right here was the Ohio State Player of the Year quarterback, and I could put it here now. The other thing cool on here is let's say I want to make that image look a little better and stand out. You're going to see that there's some filters, cropping, flip, spacing. If you click on filters, it actually gives you some cool things that you can click on that will change the back of the image itself, like drama, epic, okay? And you can do the intensity on these. And you're just going to have to go in there and play around a little bit uh, to find out what you like best. But if I was to leave that on there, now this doesn't stand out at much, so I might add. Um, I'll click on shapes. Sometimes I'll add a square to it. I'll shrink it down. Stretch it out. Put it there. Well, it's covering my text. So then what I do is I arrange it, and I go back, and now it's on Player of the Year, and then I just kind of resize it a little better. And then what I'll do this, this is kind of cool, is I'll go white. It's kind of obnoxious, but then just to make the word stand out, I will click on that. And you see this little icon of transparency? I'll just drag that so that I do have a background, but now if you see it, it clicks on there and it just stands out a little more, uh, which makes it look a little better. And then again, all I would do is click download, and boom, I've got an instant graphic done and uh, it, take, it takes you no time at all to make these things so it's really really cool service 
uh, sign up for it and again it will um, once you've got them it'll save them all for you so you can you know you can go down through let me load these up again it'll go through and it'll load them for you automatically so any of them these are the ones I was just messing with and if you ever want to use these again um, so if I was to wanted to use my sons as another one I can but I like the original I can keep it but make a copy okay if I make a copy it'll pop up right here right there it's not doing anything because I'm already loading I got three of them open <laughs> okay so anyhow love this service it's free go ahead and get it yourself and uh, you know keep keep up the good work and I'll see you thanks